Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick comparison between Fedora 36 on the left and KDE Neon 5.24 on the right. So both of these are actually running the KDE Plasma desktop environment, which makes them a good uh, comparison really here. So let's see, uh, starting off we have the uh, Fedora 36, now KDE, so you're going to see the same basic Plasma desktop environments here, although Fedora certainly likes to uh, work with a bit of a, a dark theme there which is nice to see. It's important to say that KDE and Neon, the Plasma desktop environment here, is actually uh, one based off cutting bleeding edge. KDE and Neon uh, just uses the, the KDE Plasma desktop environment, that's the latest and that's what it's all about. But interestingly here, Fedora does the same thing, unlike other KDE Plasma desktop environments. So as you may know, Fedora is also uh, bleeding edge the way that it works. So it's basically running the same version of the, the Plasma desktop environments here. So you can't really compare them as being too different, although they do use different icon sets and here, things here and there just a little bit. Now uh, let's look into the, the back end here for the, the, the file manager. Now Dolphin is the de facto standard for any Plasma KDE desktop environment here. So nothing really to, to write home about here. It is almost, in fact, if not exactly the same the way that it looks. And I, I, um, I take that back what I said a moment ago. They are using the same icon sets for these guys here. Uh, I could probably try to go to the help and about menu. It's uh, quite dug in there, quite deep to see what we're dealing with. But, uh, oh, slightly different Dolphin, updated Dolphin version there, just a smidge you can see, but otherwise exactly the same. Now let's go into the uh, the back end just a little bit and see what's going on. So we can see uh, when it comes to the kernels, this is where it's a little bit different. So although Fedora is running the latest and greatest Plasma version of 5.24, they both really are there, Fedora does actually take the cake with a later kernel edition, so 5.17, and this is to be expected because because KDE Neon is actually focusing on the latest and greatest front end, but not so much the back end. So it's actually based off uh, Ubuntu there. But hey, uh, still pretty close in terms of kernels, I guess you could say. Just a few iterations different. Last but not least, uh, take this next part with a bit of a grain of salt. But uh, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. And this is where it gets a little bit disappointing for me. At least where Fedora is concerned. So CPU is uh, mostly idling out there for both of them. Now KDE Neon is running at about 480 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which is really nice to see. Fedora is uh, really slacking off here, 1.17 uh, gigabytes of RAM. I had to actually reboot Fedora a few times just to show what it looks like on boot up. I did all applied all the updates, and it was still pulling about 1.5, 1.6 gigabytes of RAM on boot up. So it is very heavily intensive. It's unfortunate to say it's not quite optimized as the way that I would want it to be. So we're almost dealing with two to three times the amount of RAM on boot up for Fedora KDE version. So just something to take uh, into consideration there. I've tried multiple tests. I tried to get it down to, to one gigabyte of RAM. Uh, that was uh, difficult to do there as well. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.